Hey guys, today I'm going to do a video, quick video on how to replace the CV axle on a 2014 Subaru XD Crosstrek. First things first, you want to make sure your vehicle is jacked up and on the jack stand, and also have the rear tire chopped, and also the parking brake on. The first step is going to be to simply remove the wheel. The next step, step is a little trickier. You need to take a chisel or a screwdriver and where that axle nut is cramped down, you need to flatten that out so you can loosen the axle nut. You can see that I pried up the, the little lock on the nut and it should be able to come off now. I'm using a 1 and 1 fourth inch socket. I believe it's also a 29 millimeter. And the car is in park. It takes a little bit of force to get it broke loose not too bad. Now's a good time to actually place the car in neutral. Now I've got the car in neutral. It's a good time to loosen up the ABS wire and also loosen the brake line and remove it so you have a lot of room to play. You don't want to put too much stress on your brake line or this ABS sensor cable. A 12 millimeter socket wrench will remove both of these. Now you're going to loosen up the two strut bolts. It's a good idea to mark the top one so that you keep a proper alignment. There's a there's a line at the top and there's different notches on the bolt itself that you could use to remember but it's always a good idea to just go ahead and mark it also so you have it exactly in the right spot. The bottom one, it's not necessary to do that. Then just remove those two bolts. Alright, now that that's free, you want to push the axle back out. Sometimes you have to hammer it. The other side I did this morning, I actually had to hit it pretty good with a hammer to get it to back off but this one seems to be to be pretty easy to remove this axle was actually super easy to pull out it's almost all the way out now and we'll pull it down towards the back of the car to get it out of the hole And now that this is free from the hub, you're going to want to line it up as straight as you can. And you simply just push it in and in a quick motion pull out. And it'll release the, the end of the CV axle from the differential. Sometimes it take, takes a couple tries. Before you get too far with the new axles, it's always a good idea to check and make sure the axles are similar. 
and these appear to be the same. Now that we've checked both axles to make sure they're the same length, size, spines, and all that, it's time to put the new one in. Installing the new axle is just a complete reverse procedure of taking it out. Just You do want to be careful as you stick it back into the, the differential that you don't cut the oil seal. So you want to go in um, as straight as possible. Get a better look, make sure you're lined up right. I've got it lined up and I can feel that the spines have uh, locked in in the differential. So now you can push it in there. Alright, I think it connected in there. It's got a little clip that retains it inside. I'll get under there again just to make sure that I'm completely flush where it needs to be. Alright, now that that's seated flush in the differential, time to put the, the spline back into the, the hub. It takes a little maneuvering, but it can be done. Alright, you just line the spines up and that axle goes in. Next room. Just button everything back up, put the strut bolts back in, make sure the top one's exactly in the right spot that you marked and I found torque specs online I'm not gonna say them in this video because I'm not sure they're a hundred percent correct so I'm gonna kinda do it by feel but um if you have a service manual you can look up the torque specs same thing for this one that you mark and where you mark it in the frame to keep from having to get your vehicle aligned. Now's a good time to put the vehicle in park again so you can properly torque down the axle nut. And after you have it properly torqued, you simply just crimp the, the end of the nut back into the bolt so that the, the nut won't be able to back off. And then we'll button up the brake lines and the ABS lines, put the wheel back on them and be good to go. And you can see here where I'd marked the top of this bolt. I put it exactly back where I had it marked so it should not affect the alignment at all. Now if that's crimped back into place, we can put the brake line bolt and the ABS line bolt back in. And there you have it, the new CV axle is in. Thanks for tuning in. I know it's not the best quality video, but I wanted to 
show you how to do one of the new CB axles on the 2014 XV cross track because there's not many videos showing the newer style. Um, this vehicle only has 80,000 miles on it, but I was one of the unfortunate ones to have my axles go bad, even without the torn boots. But um, thanks for tuning in. Now just throw the wheel back on and should be good to go.